Welcome back everyone to the Driven to Destruction playthrough that I was doing. I stopped it for a while ago, but I think it's time that we got back going again. So, let's see how we get on with this. Currently ranked 16th, so win the best rank is your goal, obviously. Car to 77%. I don't think I'll bother. So let's just go and drive around a wee bit. Oh dear, that car looks a state, doesn't it? So obviously, people have already been watching the whole Driven Destruction playthrough, hopefully. If not, then welcome to this awesome game. It's kind of a one that was a bit left out when I think it originally came out, uh, released by Atari. And, um,. Very similar to the uh, Destruction Derby series, it's always done very well, and the Crashed series done relatively well as well. And I don't think this one really captured everyone's imagination. I don't really know why, because it is quite frankly awesome. So I think I'm going to do the Gladiator, and I'll trade in the Bulldog. Thank you very much. I've had enough of that one. Let's get a new car. Oh, that looks nice. <coughs> So, apologies, I've got a bit of a cold, so I'm going to sound a bit rubbishy. So I'm just going to drive off the map so then I can go and play racing. But yeah, Destruction Derby always has had a decent following, although even hit that PS2 outing didn't really take off as well as what I think they'd hoped. Good series that deserves a comeback, I think. And yes, the handling on this game may leave a little bit to be desired because it's a bit clunky. Let's go for Dundas Rust and Bust. Let's go for that one. But I think the whole crashing up genre has kind of dried up a little bit. What have we had recently? Maybe. Dirt Showdown, which I don't think caught everyone's imaginations. Yeah, let's race Charlie. So one of the good things I think about this game is actually that you do get the opportunity to... Oh, forgot to drive there. Let's re-getting back to... Ah, that's the rear view. Okay. Is that you did get, get to race to the actual event itself and... Bear with me while I just get used to the controls. <laughs> Oops. Yes, as I said, the controls are very mm, wooden. Oh dear. This hasn't gone very well, has it? Will I beat them or not? Don't think I will. And your sense of speed is a little bit strange in this game as well because it doesn't look like you're going all that fast but I am I want it going to have it oh the little jammy moose you done me never mind Charlie I'll have you in the waist Zwolinski good name one of the best things I think about this game is the sheer different amount of modes that it's got I think we're going to go for one of the modes now. Is it? Okay, this looks like being a racy one. So we're up to 14. The field gets bigger and bigger as you go through. This for me was really one of the first games that I know with Destruction Derby it was just about smashing everyone into bits and you had the arenas and things like that. This was really the, one of the first games that took the whole Destruction arena based game and made so many, so many different modes out of it. 
struggling a wee bit here, come on. <clears throat> a push off is coming off afterwards, so that'll be a new mode to show you guys. I've called myself One Eyed Willy, I think, in this. Or One Way Willy, I'm not sure. One Eyed Willy. <laughs> Been watching the Goonies, have I? Start that one. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. Might cause an issue. So it's the last couple of laps where everyone starts crossing over, and you're just thinking. lap can I get this one yes I can can I get this one oh yes still only six though not quite great leader's already finished so having an outstanding evening that was a bit poor sixth position never mind <laughs> 30 points. Your points from each of the events gets added together, so whoever's got the most points at the end of the evening wins. As you can see, there's quite a few, so that was a figure eight race. Push off is next, then a jump race, shortcut, and so on and so forth. You can choose to skip events. I've got no idea why, unless you've got so many points that you don't actually want to risk your car. So the push off is next. I'm going to drive my gladiator, but I want to repair it first. The more expensive your cars, the more expensive obviously your repairs are. You can choose to upgrade your cars as you go, uh, but to be honest I think you earn enough money if you're winning to not really bother with it. La 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 la. Good soundtrack. This is the push off, we're on a slightly raised thing, as soon as you are pushed off you are out. And obviously there is a slight... In fact this is rimmed upwards this one, so... You can be eliminated through wrecking. So we've already lost one car, who else is out? Hey, got one. <laughs> Smack. So this one, because it's a bit, a bit too raised for its own good, this one I think is going to become more of a destruction derby than anything else. How many people are left? We've got eight. Do a bit of reversey. Ooh, nearly got ya. Ooh, don't go out. Ah, still going. Thank God for that. Hey, that's another one gone. See. Oh, there's one going. Hey, that's another one out. Scores up to three. I'm quite happy to sit and wait a wee bit now. We'll see if I can push some people out, maybe. Oh, there we go. That's four. Hey, win. Smasheroo. Use the old tactic of going round in reverse if you don't want to do your front end in because your front end gets more damage than the rear. 
The jump race is coming right up. My car looking a wee bit smashed to bits though, so let's repair that. As you can see, I can only repair up to a certain amount each time because the car becomes slightly too damaged to really do much after a while. So It's all these little things that I think makes Driven to Destruction one of the pinnacle in these types of games. It still holds up really well now, I think. It's also one of the games that I think on my playthroughs that have had the most amount of comments as well, aside from Parappa, which is still top of the bill. Ooh, careful. Into the wall. <laughs> We're getting a little bit too snug. There we go. This is why it's called the jump race. Oh! Go on around we go. And off we go. Oh! Oh dear. <laughs> this hasn't worked out to plan at all. Right. Come on. Wrong way, Willy. That's what it's called. Sorry. Oh, it's a bit feisty. Right. Three laps, second last. We've got to do better than that. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, that's another one out. Ha! <laughs> Go, <Okay>, Charlie. <laughs> you did. So for these types of games where you're hitting people, can you see how they're trying to actually just get rid of me <laughs> by popping me into a spin? Obviously that is quite a decent tactic to use if you fancy it. I try not to, if I can help it, because quite often in this game they do spin round into your path. But they do like doing it back to you. Ooh, that's a wall. Okay, so again I'm in sixth. Ooh, that, ooh. Quite impressed with myself on that one. <laughs> and I find, obviously, the longer you get into the evening, the more likely people are to crash out and retire because their cars are more beaten up by the end of the evening, obviously. The car handles completely differently between tarmac and grass as well. Obviously, something we expect now. It wasn't always the case back in the day. to look on the back of the box see what year this was that it came out actually yes third that will do oh there we go so I've got 250 reputation points that will do me so I am second in the stand-ins just five behind Vince de Boom. So next up we're on to the shortcut race. I'm gonna repair my car again. I'm a sickler for repairs. Especially when it comes to the last couple of things. So there's a destruction derby at the end of this evening. <laughs> But it all takes place in the same arena, which I think is actually quite good because it means that you can get so much out of so of a tinier space. Something some games still do now, but not always the case. So I'm told that I must go left for this one. You can see by the arrows up on the top there where I'm going. Now that will put us up on the front because that was the short uh, version. Now I've got to go for the long one. Oh, smack. 
bit of a cheat to go straight for select there, but less of a time waste. Does that pop me out eight? go all down this time. It's not always uniform actually which way you should go. Sometimes it will be three down, one up, or three up, one down. Still second, still second. Oh, don't smack me. Get off my boot, eh? We've got to go up again, I imagine, yeah. Okay, I've got the momentum. Yes! win. It's not very often I win things in racing. I love racing games, but I don't win very often. <laughs> I shall take that. Quite happily. I didn't ruin the car too much either, which is good. It's actually put me up on top. Not much of a car repair to do, so that's good. Nice and cheap. Point to point, you have to go over the arrows as you go around the arena. I'm assuming it's that one to get going. Yeah. Point to point is always about. Oh dear. Now I've got to cross everyone. Ah, I knew that was going to be bad. <laughs> Once you've worked out where you're going in a point to point race, you can quite often get the upper hand. So that was a lap. Oh my god, get out my way! Thank you. Ooh, this side. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm quite glad that I'm looking pretty good. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh dear. <laughs> They were quite happy to win that one, weren't they? <laughs> Never mind, second will do me quite happily. Still first overall, the whip around race is next. Whip around is normally a good smash fest, so I look forward to seeing how that one works out. So yeah, if anyone has any particular memories or thoughts about the game from when they got it, just take a quick look at the back of the box. Uh, 2004. The release on that. Excuse me, much playable than some of the racing games that have thrown out these days, I must admit. So the whip around, as you can see, you go round the oval. You've then got to do a quick 180 and start going the other way. What's going on? Have I got something stuck? That was bizarre. Uh... Okay. I do like the fact that the AI are quite fallible as well. <laughs> I may be reliant on that for this one.
Excellent. <laughs> what on earth is going on about there? Come on, you can do it. Oh dear. That's quite helped me out actually. We've suddenly gone for a fifth to second because of that. So yeah, I do like a whip around as opposed to a reach round. <laughs> Rod Zombie? Not sure. In fact, this guy's songs also in the PS1 game Sledstorm. Random fact. Flagpole. Oh, nearly running out of dosh, actually. Good job there's decent winnings. Otherwise, I think I would sob slightly. Okay, so the flagpole race I'm notoriously poor at because you've got to do a spin all the way round the flagpole to keep going. And I quite often miss the flagpole. <laughs> Not on that one. Because there we go, we're just starting now. So, But next time round we'll have to do it. In that one there. Oh dear. Oh, have I just killed someone? Yes. Wreck. And we're off. Thankfully, it looks like everyone else is quite challenged today as well. <laughs> Round you go. Hey. Oh. You can't be dainty in this game. <laughs> Part of the charm of it. He went over. Where'd the leader go? He must be well away. God, yeah, he is. Ah! That was revenge, surely. Oh, have you? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, don't forget the flag pole. Oh, I've done that completely wrong. Oh, choose this wisely. Hey, good man. I'll be quite happy with third. I'll be happier with second, though. Thank you. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Nearly. Oh, I should have rammed him a bit harder. Said the bishop. <laughs> okay, so demolition derby. Smash up. Last one standing. This is where you do repair your car. All the. Ooh, will it let me? Yes, it will. Minus thirty-nine pounds, though, or dollars, whatever it is. Let's drive the car. Let's do reverse. Let's be tactical. Because you get a point for being the last car standing, but you do have to kill people out as well, so... You 
must be careful. Ah. Hey, that that was well done that one. Got him. Oh no, he's gonna have me. Got him. Hey. <laughs> Good end to Dundas Rust and Blast, baby. <laughs> that will do me quite nicely. So that should move me our 16th beforehand in the rankings. That should put me 11th. save thank you and I'll overwrite my previous save thank you very much so yeah ranked 11th that will do quite nicely chickens are quite happy behind me okay so let's join us again for another video in a bit and um, we could very well see ourselves down at number one in the career ranking very soon